All right, so we haven't done a video in a little bit, a little, me especially mechanic and video. Um, so we're working on our feed truck. It has a spring brake on it. This is what happens when you don't have good roads, and good roads cost money. So these heavy trucks, they just they'll snap springs. This is the second one I broke since I own the truck. I uh, broke the one on the other side. Uh, wasn't, yeah, I think it was actually broke. Majority of it was broke when I got the truck, but within within a year's time, it it went out. Um, so this this job absolutely sucks. By the way. Um, you have to take these completely off because this one, the cotter pins on the other side, this one, the cotter pins on the outside. But it's, it's just a nightmare. Uh, especially if you're not, you know, set up to really do a lot of this. This wouldn't be bad, but this box is so heavy. Uh, thankfully, my, my brother's got an air jack. Um... So cribbed up the back, so we can let it down. It's it's just not a fun job at all. It it's just it's miserable. But uh, it has to be done. Uh, especially the one thing about feedlots and stuff like that, you learn fairly quickly is everything's always in like a constant state of broken. Uh, you know the the truck broke, so I'm using the feed wagon. Well, the feed wagon. Some of the main drive sprockets worn out, and and now I'm having a chain problem. Well, I gotta get this fixed because it, it's becoming such an issue since it's my main feed wagon now um, that I'm having troubles with it. So the sooner I get this fixed, this can go, and that can go to a lighter duty until I get all its parts done. So it's it wouldn't be bad if. You know, I was making money, and I had employees, like more than one employee, where I could be like, all right, you guys need to work on this. But since it's a two-man operation, and it's a it's a five-man job, pretty much, everything we're doing, it's just terrible. Uh, right now, my, my dad's actually uh, trying to move some pairs and stuff like that, and... I'm here wasting time making a video about my truck being broken. Um, I just hammered this pan in. You can see this jack. I used it to uh, get it up there. And I'm hoping my pin's actually lined up. Uh, had that one we didn't have any problem with getting that bracket on. This one we had some issues with because we had to jack the truck up and let the axle down. And so there's a cross member, and getting everything lined up was a issue, and my dumbass tightened the nuts on these bolts so I didn't lose them. Now I can't get them off with one hand to do this, but, so, yeah, um, that's where that's at. I've got to finish this thing up today, so, because I've got to be gone tomorrow to a doctor's appointment, and... Yeah, it's, it's just, it's it's always something. Always something. But, it's better than, you know, hating what I do. I, I don't like this part of what I do, but it's just part of it. Uh, as far as the truck goes, it's in pretty good shape. There's a few things I wanted to do it while it's here, but I just don't have the time. Uh, I mean, I got to get the thermostat changed out because the thermostat was no good like a year ago And I just drilled it out Pulled the guts out of it and I've been running without any guts in it. So the truck's running cold uh, This chain has got to get replaced at some point uh, But I wanted to straighten some of these up Because you can see that one's bent up in there I and that one's bent right there, but that's not going to happen. I was loading this thing with a skid steer, and I got them quick, the quick change buckets on it. And I was always afraid that that was going to happen, 
and I had changed buckets and I for some reason I put uh, I put I pushed the parking brake on the instead of the bucket lock you know mine was somewhere else and I went and dumped the lotus silage in it and dropped the bucket right into the middle of the mixer and oh it, it was a nightmare I finally got out of the skid steer it was huge pain in the ass and it's just it's always something you know it's just always something so but that's not going to get done today I just kind of wanted to kind of show you guys uh, some of the behind the scenes of everything. So it's not all, it's not all but <laughs> unicorns and butterflies. Um, these springs are miserable when they break. It, I figured that I could actually save myself money by buying road base, but I'm buying springs instead. So I don't have the money for road base. So, maybe here in a few months or a year I can buy some road base and get all my roads done before I lose another spring and eventually it'll all, it'll all pay for itself. But, yeah, uh, that's just part of doing what we're doing. So, we'll get this thing put together and hopefully get it back on the road today.